Right. Squawk, squawk, fellow sorrowers, and good morning to you all. In here with a caramel coffee, and I've been going over my notes I made last night before I went to Betty Boys. Um, on Rapunzel, do you want my new wallpaper? That you've got Machine Mummy Mean, you've got her Archons, you've got the gridded Matrix Celia Universe holographic world that we live in, and the right hand path pulling it apart, which is what we're doing, aren't we, my sibling soldiers? Let's get to it and crack on. Found a few more things to add. Pecking and plucking away, as I say. I've got a few more twigs to build this nest with. So, I already showed you this, didn't I? There's no particular order to this. I'm just going to go for it, all right? Okay. So, just so happens to capture combing her hair in one of the... BBC broadcasts that I've made a video on recently. Of course not. You'd do it before you go on telly, wouldn't you? Yeah. And Ella, we went through this. Ella is um, goddess in Hebrew, which is what they worship. Yeah. The black mother, the bitch, machine mummy mean, the parasitic consciousness, the hydra, um, the anti-female, as it were. Okay. So just try and keep all this in your head, which is why I'm showing it again, because I did in the previous video, let alone the one I did on this actual BBC broadcast. Um, yeah, black cube, white cube, remember this too, okay? Right. More, most importantly, she's combing her hair through. She's combing her hair through, okay? okay. Tangled. Tangled, we've gone over before. All right, I've done this in um, um, any malicious cartoons. Yeah, um, anal is in the word tangled. If you look at the way they've done it, and sex is in her hair because of the sex and violence. Yeah, the saffron and yellow. Yeah, sorry, saffron and and pink. Um, yeah. The combing of the hair, the cleansing of the roots. Yeah, and then of course, here we have it again. This was in the Daily Mail, maybe the Daily Mirror. As I say, it's not important, neither is the headline, just hers, her headline, which is this hair. Auburn, once again, okay, for the tears. Okay. I'm just going to quickly go over so that we get back into the same mindset rather than in theirs. BLM, same thing. Nothing to do with this at all, but they put her right on the fucking front, didn't they? She's even blocking the banner. Yeah. Auburn, see it? Okay. So, in turn to this, I realised something. Photographic memory kicked in. You see how it's all platted up? I don't know about you, but it looks a hell of a lot like the tear to me. The bearded Darnell. Don't you think? The wannabe wheat. That's why they're worshipping it. Look, it's the two strains. Becoming one for the third. Yep. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah, keep in mind the whole Medusa thing as well, because that ties in also. Okay. Remember, Medusa's not a snake. She's a snake bearer. Okay. And the snake stands for wisdom, not Satanism, okay? Satan is the dragon and not the serpent. So, all this would tell you would be <laughs> Lilith holds the wisdom, okay? This is a ficus, isn't it? The snake bearer. So, the female holding the wisdom of the snake, right? 
So stick with that Medusa symbolism for a minute. Keep it in mind. Okay. Remember the plait? <laughs> Remember the ponytail? The jeans, the strands, but one, two, and then the main one that brings them together. See it? See it? Right. Just to back the point up further. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? That do. So the snake would be symbolizing the hair, you see, attached to the head, to the wisdom of the of the mind. Yeah. I don't know what you see here, but I see a snake attached to the mind, you see? The wisdom of the snake attached to the mind. And what's she doing? She's combing her hair through. Yeah, combing her hair through. So it's cleansed. Right? <laughs> well, another way to look at it, if I may be so bold, would be to say that she's shedding it. Dead hair, right? Dead skin, like the snake. You with me? You follow me? <laughs> Don't follow your heart, and you'll know. Yeah, if Icus is seen as male and female, it's not really important because this thing considers itself to be both. But you see, right? It's not the snake; it's the snake bearer. This is the thirteenth zodiac. The true number of Satan is not triple six, the number of, of man, it's the number of the beast. The true number is 13. So the 13th zodiac would be Satan, would be Saturn. And it just so happens to be Biacus. Is it coming together? Moving on. Also, to my disgust and grotesque, found this. So this is probably a little bit dated now. I don't keep up with all that Saturnian animation um, cartoons. But where have they placed the face paint of Rapunzel? Right over the pineal gland, right? No, it's just kids having fun, you know? You know, the parents just happen to put it there. Makes her look so pretty, right? Okay. So why do all the rest, without exception, have it over their pineal gland? Every child. Pineal gland, see it? Because the ficus has taken over. Symbolically, that's what I believe this is meant to mean. Okay, again, you think I'm reaching. Okay, that's all right. Carry on thinking, and I'll show you what I know. Okay, so keep this in mind over the mind of our children, okay? Each one of them, look, it's all over. right in the middle, nowhere else, okay? Keep that in mind. Right, forgive my notes, they're a bit all over the gaff, but I will try to uh, untangle them. Um... Keep that in mind, keep that in mind, keep that in mind, keep that in mind. Right, okay, so the moral, I looked all this up, 
moral of Rapunzel is you can't keep your children from all the evils of the world. You can't stop the cycle of life. Okay. So, they've made it out like they're saying... <laughs> You can't keep your children from all the evils of the world in, and, and they're on your side, they're helping, but they're speaking about themselves there. You have to keep in mind also that this was written by the Brothers Grimm. So it's a German Gothia tale. Okay. Who's a German Goth, brothers and sisters? The main one that you'd imagine everyone be aware of, but still to this day, no one fucking knows, do they? Queen, if you can call her that, Elizabeth II, and the rest of her vampiric reptilian royalty, are German, the German Goths. Yeah? Rapunzel's mother is called Mother Gothel. Okay? She's the main antagonist of Disney's Don't Start with Disney with Me. Disney's 2010, Three for Saturn, animated feature film, Tangled. She's yeah, she is a wicked crone who retained youth for thousands of years through the healing properties of magic, the golden flower. Yeah. What's all the memes and the jokes that would come out about Elizabeth II? Thousands of years old, right? She probably is, you know. Seriously. All that adrenochrome does wonders for the skin, especially when it's <laughs> a hologram. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, the golden flower is the golden dawn. Okay. Yellow, saffron. Sex, sex magic. So it keeps them young and beautiful to each other anyway. Golden, golden dawn, sun, Ra. Yeah. Ra, Ra. Rapunzel, right? So you got Ra. Let's start with Ra. Ra is Isis. Okay, that Ra ordered the other gods to stand back while he whispered his secret name, secret, always in the secrecies. All their names are secret, right? It's part of their religion. He whispered his secret name to Isis. Now the power of the secret name has passed from my heart to your heart, said Ra wearily, you see? The attack on the heart. They've joined theirs to become one. They think that is a heart, but it's not. A lie. That's what secrets are for. Ra pronounced ray, as in that's a ray of sunlight. Represents sunlight, warmth and growth. Okay? I'm not saying the sun's the bad guy here. I'm saying how they use it is. Just like the snake's not the bad guy, but it always got blamed for Satanism, right? It was only natural that the ancient Egyptians would believe him to be the creator of the world. Only natural that they would believe him to be. This thing's a false god, right? A false deity. A false creator. As well as part of him being represented by representing every other god. That's why you can't trust religion. Because they're all the same false god, false deity, false creator. That's why they all share the same characteristics. The eye of Ra, coming back to um, coming back to Ella here. Just for those of you that haven't seen the video, with this is the wallpaper. Yeah, joy crack this one. So we'll look up the name Ella, as I said, and it come up as a goddess in Hebrew. 
but also El and La. Well, El is Kronos, Saturn, Satan, and La translates to look. So the eye, right? The eye of Saturn. The eye of Ra. Saturn's the black sun, right? Lucifer is the light bearer, right? So it represents the sun to the Egyptians. He was often associated with destructive power, destructive, not creative, destructive power of the sun. But the Egyptians also used it to protect buildings and themselves. The eye of Ra was symbolic of royal authority. Royal authority, Mother Gothel, Queen Elizabeth II, if you can call her that. Get it? The small queen run by the tall queen. <sighs> so we're done, Ra. Let's do pun. Well, pun's a joke. Plain and simple. Yeah? What they're playing on us. The big joke. Okay? Zell. Well, Zell means symbol. Right? As in symbol of a drum. A round steel instrument. Steel, rod, the rod of iron, the artificial intelligence in the Bible. Okay, round, Saturn, it's a ring. Symbols are rings, right? And it is an instrument that they use. So this Rapunzel symbolism that they're using is an instrument. An instrument to stop us from keeping our children from the evils of the world. Okay. Bother me. Yeah, tangled, anal. They're trying to stop the pineal gland from being able to see the same as these two eyes would. That's why they're covering it up. This is all theory. It's all theory, but it's right there. For anyone to see, and you don't even have to use that third one, usually you would. But people won't. I don't think it's that they can't. <laughs> I know, it's because they won't. And that's what's so sad about all of this. Moving on. It's a symbol, okay? Zell is symbol. The drum, the beat, the heart, yeah? And the attack of it when it gets hit. So let's move on. Rapunzel's hair stands as the symbol of her guardian's trust, the symbol of her maidenhood. Maiden, the maiden name, the secret name. Yeah? You with me? You follow me? Well, don't. <laughs> if you follow this, then hopefully others will also. <sighs> so the witch calls for her hair day after day. Her hair becomes not only the emblem of her womanhood, but the mark of her captivity. What do Luciferians believe? They believe that Adam and Eve were trapped by the Creator in the Garden of Eden. Lucifer freed them, right? So we've got Lucifer the Light Bear, Ra, Isis, yeah? Representing, represented in every other god. Okay. So this is tying in as well to the fall of Lucifer. Okay. As you're about to see. You also got tangled. Well, what is a tangle? It's a tentacle, right? Well, it is, right? Look. Tentacle. Tentacle. Her tentacles. 
its tentacles. Moving on. These are some old dated paintings of Rapunzel. Her name isn't and wasn't actually originally Rapunzel. It was Barbara. Barb. And you know how they try to set Lucifer up as Jesus to play on your heart strings. Strings, hair. Yep. So here's one, the sun, okay, behind the head, the auburn hair of the tares, the 88, the Canaanites, which I already showed you. I know it's blonde in tan, gold, yeah, but this thing, the auburn, okay. Auburn. The Archon they keep showing us on the news. Awfully similar, right? Yeah. So. Keep all this in mind, alright? You've got the cube in the background here. She combs her hair through, right? Ella, the goddess. Okay. The Eye of Saturn. This is the same cube. Okay. The Tower, Tower of Babel. There's actually four windows here, which is interesting because four is representative of hell, which is the cube, right? And the tower would have been the hell for Rapunzel to be in, trapped in. Rapunzel, Lucifer, light bearer, see the sun, the eye of Ra, the auburn hair, and the tear, <laughs> the wheat tear, the bearded Darnell. Even got the Masonic pillars over here, the Kabbalistic pillars. Okay, if I'm reaching, we'll see how far. Will the cycle Uruburus, you can't stop the cycle of life, moral of Rapunzel. Yeah, okay, there we are. Oh look, Auburn again. Isn't she even Auburn here? Yep, Auburn hair again. Auburn hair again. The sun ray. <laughs> the sign of the tears. The free strand. Yeah, that they'll hold up. All these protesters hold up. All these Canaanites. Yeah. Hiding their dog snouts underneath their fucking muzzles. One, two, three, four, four for hell, the Tower of Babel, the cube. With the anti female, the false creator at the top of it. They're all trying to reach it. Oh, and what's this she's holding in her tear hand? That's right. It's a tear bearded Darnell. Ironic, isn't it? Hand coming out of the darkness. Hidden hand under the skirt. The pink and the yellow, sex and violence, what the pain nights or worship and practice daily. You're seeing it over the news at the moment. Why aren't they being stopped? Why is it being flaunted? Hmm? Advertised. Hmm? Go on anything, go on any site you want. Go and order food online. You'll see a, the same banner they had for, for the COVID idiot shit. They now have saying we support. <laughs> We support the right. In, what they're saying is we support the violence that has to ensue in order so that they can breathe. We can't breathe. They can't breathe. That's what they're saying because of us, because we're overpopulating them. 
two races, us and them, we're Seth, they're Kane. Okay? And so is this. It's always where you're not looking. That's where they'll come from. This is where it lurks. Know what I'm saying? <sighs> Tear hair, once again. Holding it in the left hand, the left hand part. Yeah? So, oh, in the um, original Brothers Grimm fairy tale of Rapunzel, who was actually Barbara, Barb, Barb Wire, Jesus' crown of thorns, yeah? It's one and the same to them. Barbara was not going to stop fighting for her free will, which is what the Luciferians believe, Lucifer used and therefore was abused with it wasn't free will it was the will to freely do whatever the fuck it wished <laughs> not quite the same thing is it people began to torture her they cut her skin with knives they threw salt in the wounds the lake salt lake water lake of fire in the wounds the wings, <laughs> once he lost them, it lost them. They also burned her skin. Burnt, yeah. The fire is the, the knowledge, the wisdom. Okay, hell is ice. It's an icicle realm, not one of flames. Ice burns just as much as fire. When she was finally weak and near death, Dioscorus, which is her father's name, sounds a lot like Discord to me. What about you? Discordian. Biblical in itself. Chopped her daughter's head off with a sword. The sword is the AI, as Yeshua will tell you, the blade. Okay? It's the rod of iron from the scripture. Okay? Used against. This thing. And how did they stop Medusa in the myth? By cutting off the fucking head, right? Rapunzel, Rapunzel, I let down your hair. So we can climb up it and yeah, cut a fucking head off. The only way we're going to stop any of this, any of this, notice I say, not the only way we're going to stop this. I don't know if it will stop ever, but we can certainly stop it. From hurting them any more than they've already done. <laughs>